It's down through the years. There's just been so many things that happened that could have happened that God didn't allow. And I know it couldn't have been nobody but him. And you look death right in the face, but ain't nothing can't touch you. <laughs> and you know they should have, but they didn't. It's, it's wonderful. I enjoy it. I love it. And I'm not where I should be, but thank God I'm on the right road. And I hope one day, and I know one day I'll make it. I'll make it. He, he, he gonna help me. And that's the only way I'm gonna make it. It is here. And when I leave here, ain't no use to hooping and hollering in. It's all over with. I'll be going on to a better place. It's just good. I, I enjoy serving the Lord, uh, and I'm growing by day by day. And you count it. I count it as little bitty things like a drop in a cup. But that little drop feet tastes so good to know you're doing something right, and He uses you, and He'll show you and things that you think is insignificant, but it, it makes a big impact. Big impact. I enjoy it myself. Okay. I kind of want to just fly through the last part, to be honest. Like, oh, okay. <clears throat> because it asks a whole bunch of personal questions like income and all this stuff and you know I don't I'm not big on all that mm -hmm. because it's asking about retirement slash employment you know just about that whole deal because we all because you're retired mm -hmm. but you still work you know yeah you still work right. so you can have it's full stuff. what part-time slice Full yeah. time. Yeah, it's just it's five days part time. Uh, five days part time. You know, yeah. just something. You know, just to, just so you can keep some money flow. Right. Um, and that basically goes along with your income source and financial changes. It was a big financial change as far as working there, but right. But I tell you one thing, Joe, that I've learned that the Lord let me live to get older, is I wish I had had somebody to tell me and teach me that when I was young, long as I've been working, how to save, how to look to the future. I always look for today. Or tomorrow. Yeah, uh, uh, tomorrow. I never... Look five... Five yeah, or a yeah. year from now. Right. And I wish I had her. But I didn't, so that's water on the bridge. But now I can tell y'all, and I, I, I try to tell them, I don't care if it ain't but five dollars, save it. Save it. Put it in a savings. It might not seem like much now, but you think about it. 20 years from now, what that'll do. What you have, well, and it's well. gonna come in handy. Uh -huh. But I didn't do that. I I never was taught the importance of saving because why I the way we the way I was raised and girl, we never had enough to do That's nothing with. Let alone talking about saving something. That is true. <coughs> <coughs> But and when you got a little extra, my mother was living, I was always trying to make sure I, you know, give her something to help her out. I didn't want her be broke and waiting to pin down, you know, sorry as well, but she had either. So. Well, well, other than that. But it's very important. This, you know, that killed two birds right there. Um, you don't have any chronic illness or diseases. Huh? You don't. 
you eat, you eat like you're supposed to. So the nutritional asset assessment, mm -hmm. you know, that's nothing. Um, your health status is well. Doctor says good. It's well. I can, yeah, I could stand to lose about 20, 30 pounds, but <laughs> <laughs> it just slowed me down. But it ain't stopping. So yeah, and. Your marital status that's divorced yeah. and social supports, I don't know what that is, so I don't Social support. What is that? I don't know. You have a church family, I know that much. I guess they could be social support. Um your living arrangements you live by yourself, basically. Yeah, yeah. We're in and out housemates. Yeah, you know, with yeah. grandkids that come in and out. Yeah. Um, your leisure activities, that should be fun. Basically, it is. When I can get out there, it's too hot now. Yeah. I love to fish. And I love gardening and yard work. I love outside. Right now, it's too hot. I can't stand that heat. I get sick. Feel like I'm fit to throw up. <laughs> mm -mm. And. In conclusion, because the last, the real last question is spiritual belief, and we already touched that. And uh, but this, this is something that I, you know, it, it's it's kind of stand out to me. Life satisfaction. Like what, you know, what have, what satisfaction have life brought you within the past sixty-five years? that you can really just rem speak on like life satisfaction like ha like kids like your you know those are life satisfaction for you you know to when enjoy my kids were younger much younger smaller enjoy your kids yeah enjoy your grandkids uh, uh, that, that's family and family is very important exactly to me it is to and me it also. should be to everyone you know, but to me, it was precious when you, I call myself uh, an outside child. Cause I was the only child my mother had when she married this other man. And, I, and, and I guess through the years, they, in a way, they let me know I was outside. It made me feel like that and I wouldn't have felt like that if I wasn't treated like that, I was outsider, but through it all, I ended up with my own kids. And I tried my best to treat them different than what I was treated when I was coming up as a kid, you know, a young adult. It's much, much better. I be I want to see they life be good and sweet to them, but it can only be what you make it. Especially when you know how. Life can be good if you know how. If you don't know how, you just up to creep without the power. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. That's a bad situation. No. Yeah. Well, this concludes our interview and topic of Barbara Jean Bowie's life. Hopefully you get a lot out of this, Ashley. Um, uh, I try sure do, Ashley. I hope something I said uh, uh, something I said will help you in life. Because it only what, what you make it. Don't nobody owe you anything. You owe yourself. It only come back like you would give it out. Give it out good and come back good. Especially when you hear somebody tell you. Now if you don't know, you need to ask somebody. And if you wasn't taught when you was at home, you still, as a young adult, ask somebody. It ain't all about you. Anything else?
Uh, no ma'am, we're fine. Uh, and I'll send this to Ashley as soon as I get home. She okay. she don't know I did it as the same so day. Soon as she asked. You no, know, but I guess I'll talk to you later, Ashley.